Hey guys, I'm Tim Mitchell and we're here today to service this stainless steel 7720 unit from Asia. You can see this unit on our website justgoodcleanair.com. Now this unit is much quieter than the other uh, stainless steel units we serviced earlier. So keep in mind this unit is quiet enough that we can put them in sleeping rooms and state hospitals, state schools. So we put it in school districts where people are teaching. We put it in animal facilities. A lot of these are used in cat rooms and animals and shelters. So this one is very quiet. Let me just turn it on to demonstrate. That's not very loud. I have one of these in my bedroom at home and I sleep with it, so that's the reason I know it's not loud. Now to service it, make sure you turn it off. So the yellow lights out, unplug the cord. You don't want any electricity around whenever you're doing this. It has a locking stainless steel door on it. By the way, these units are designed for 25, 35, even 50 years of service. All the parts you can get from us, and they're very easy to obtain. They don't have to go out very often. The ballast in it lasts for years. The bulbs last one year, constant use. So if you run this thing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, once a year, you'll need to replace the bulbs. We keep those in stock. Uh, it's the same thing as our other units that have the pre-filter. The pre-filter is a 20 by 20 by 2 inch pre-filter. This one has not been used very hard much, so I'm going to vacuum it off right quick. And all you want to do is run your vacuum. After you run your vacuum, you can put it back in. We sell these filters but they're standard filters and you can buy these in a hardware store. So if you want to buy them elsewhere, that's fine. So for here, now we're going to take our reactor pads out. And this one is 1A, so it's had the 1A facing in the first chamber. We're going to take it out. 2A, we're going to take it out. 3A, and this is the spare, 4A. There's no light shining on that, so it's getting no use whatsoever. Now, to service this, we want to turn the vacuum on. Now, you want to actually do the complete filter and reactor pad, you don't want to just do a partial like I did. You can either blow these out or you can vacuum them. If you blow them vacuum or blown it out, never wash these. If you wash them, you'll take our technicide off. By the way, have you noticed how many tools it's taken thus far to work on this? And the answer is zero. Out of all of our equipment, if one machine takes a screwdriver. The rest of them you can do it without any. You have a damp or uh, alcohol wrap Go over your bulbs. There's two bulbs in this unit. Go over the whole bulb. Any film that's built up on the bulbs for use uh, will be taken off. That way your bulbs are at 100% efficiency. When, that, when they're dirty, they're not quite in 100%. This one. Remember this spare over here was number four? We're going to get number four, A, and we're going to put it in the first chamber right here with the wire mesh out so that it doesn't suck into the fan. Alright, now one was here, we're going to move one to the next chamber, so we're going to put one B out. And then we're going to go with two B. and they have them very reasonably priced. They will last two to three years under standard usage. Now, how often do you clean this? If you're in an animal shelter, you'll probably need to do it once a month. If you're using it in an office or home, probably every three or four months. So whatever volume of intake of microscopic solids are coming in, the more volume you have, the more often you need to clean it. Because what will happen, the ash will build up and the light can't get to our technocyte and they don't work. 
The only reason they don't work is they're not serviced, so keep them serviced. This is number three, B, and we're going to put it in the spare unit over here where it's not being used. It's just sitting there. Okay, everything's vacuumed out, blown off, the limbs have been cleaned. Then we can reinstall the front door. We can plug it back in. We can turn it on. I see light burning, so I know the lights are on. It's back working again. This system is a portable system, but it can also be hung from the ceiling and make it into a loop system. A lot of processing plants and animal shelters, they will take this unit and hang it next to the ceiling. A lot of state hospitals and state schools, they do the same thing. Guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at Just Good Clean Air. We've got frequently asked questions. We've got information. We've got benefits page. Uh, you can also find discussions with our customers about what it's done and how it's done in farm. We've got a complete line of equipment. You can see the other equipment. We do custom stuff. If you don't see what you want, that doesn't mean we can't make it for you. So if you've got air in your building, we can clean it. We may have to do it a different way than our standard equipment. We've got a complete products line. And also, all of our contact information is on our website, Just Good Clean Air. I appreciate your interest, and for all of you existing customers, keep your units clean and call us if you have a problem. Thank you.